<laughs> My name is Misa Matsui. Ah, I am cute. I am cute. Eh, top of the world. <laughs> there is a lot of factors that go into making a great wrestling performer. Sometimes a talent will have one or two of these things and lack the rest, which can stop them from reaching the heights they potentially could have reached. Others make up for their missing factors by being extremely good at other factors, masking their missing skills. Then there is a talent who has all the factors to be a star. A speed star, you could say. This brings me to the topic of today's videos, and that is Misa Matsui. Misa Matsui debuted on the 15th of November 2018 in Actress Girls and has been a loyal member ever since. She has challenged multiple times for titles, including the tag titles and AWG Championship, but thus far has been unable to capture a belt. But at 23 years old, time is on her side, and I'm sure a title will be near in her future. Every match, she continues to grow her fan base and her skills. So it's a matter of time before she reaches the top. She is the current leader of her faction Tepen, with Naho Yamada and Katmas Calico as the other members. I first saw Mis Matsu wrestle in 2021, which is when I began at watching Actress Girls, thanks to Wakasukiyama's appearances in Chukka Pro, making me aware of the promotion. Instantly after one Matsui match, I was hooked. Since then, she's become my ultimate favourite in the wrestling world and the wrestling sphere. And I'm going to detail that in this video today. So let's go through five different factors that makes Misa Matsui so good. You are the best. Thank you. I know. <laughs> Factor one. Passion, charisma and work ethic. Matsui has passion in spades. I'll talk about her matches later on in a bit more detail and we'll mention her passion in her performances as it's a big part of what makes her matches such a joy to watch and such a good experience. She will show the passion and desire to win in her facial expressions such as when someone kicks out of her moves or when she is waiting for her opponent to get into the right position for Matsui to strike. Work ethic can be seen by the new techniques she is constantly pulling out. She keeps gaining new ways to make an impact and pin her opponents such as the second rope moonsault, a running knee which looks beautiful every time, super smooth and impactful, the Matsui Kawaii Driver which is one of my favourite finishes, it's hard to describe for me um, but it is just such good uh, to watch and I'll probably show overlay of video of the move taking place just to show you how sweet and smooth it looks. Then you've got a high risk diving crossbody to the outside which is always a brilliant sight to see. Recently she has added a sunset flip type move to our arsenal as one of the finishes although it did fail to win on their second time using it. Sad times. I'm sure she will continue to develop her techniques and add even more in time. One move I'm expecting to see her add one day is the top rope moonsault. It will be a moment when she pulls this out. She's teased it a couple of times, but never hit it quite yet. On top of her skills, she's an absolute sweetheart and is super kind to her fans. She clearly gains strength from her supporters, which feeds into why she wants to continue to improve every day and in every match. Factor 2. Selling and Storytelling To me this may be the most important factor of them all, especially in an in-ring aspect. Selling and storytelling are majorly important in investing the crowd into your performance and making them interested and care about what they are seeing. It's the attention to every little small detail that is much appreciated. Much like her late great friend Asahi, Misa Matsui is an absolute expert in this field, which may be partly why they so gelled so well in the ring together. 
There are plenty of examples of Mises selling details and whenever I see them it makes me smile because it's one of those parts of wrestling that just makes me extremely happy to see because it shows the talent loves and cares about giving the best performance possible for the people in attendance and the people watching at home and around the world. The way where her, let's say her leg is worked over, which is usually quite a lot, and she'll struggle to run afterwards, uh, typically falling down when attempting to run or being Irish whipped due to the pain in her leg. It's a much appreciated small detail in a match, but it adds so much. She will also grimace while trying to stand on it, or she'll try to shake it out or get feeling back into it, you know, get the blood circling in the leg. You know, she'll hit a move that involves her leg, and after the pinfall, she'll show the pain on her leg after the pinfall, which is, again, a small little detail which is much appreciated. Her facial expressions are also key to her performances. She has some of the best in the game, and no one sells a kick to the back quite like Matsuri does. It helps add to the story of the match, as you can always feel the pain surging through her body, and it helps you root for her to win even more. She can also oversell when needed, which is an added bonus. Especially when she gets a, a kick or something, she can sell that to perfection, uh, falling down perfectly. Just And it makes it the kick look absolutely devastating. And with her selling, she makes her opponent look like a million bucks every time. And it's one of the main reasons why I love her so much. Selling is so important. Factor 3. Look. Matsui, number one, cutest. Thank you, I know, I know. Anata no kami wa itsumo utsukushii desu. My hair is always beautiful, thank you! <laughs> now, I'm not talking about beauty. I could do a whole 24 hour video about the stunning beauty of Misa Matsui. But that's for another time. What I'm talking about is ring gear, styles, and aura. Now, ring gear, Misa has some amazing ring gear, and it just keeps getting better. My personal favourite is her red, black, and gold gear, which was a stark departure from her usual blue and or white themed gear that she usually stuck to. I think it suits her perfectly, and just looks like a top stars gear. Gold and red is a perfect colour combination. Then we have the end of 2022 gear she debuted with the dark blue theme with gold straps on her top, with gloves as well. Gotta love fingerless gloves. She, do, she debuted this with her long hair era and it was the perfect look, super cool gear, super cool look. In 2023 she debuted a new white themed gear with space-like elements as well on the boots. This gear has grown on me a lot, and it does actually look really great when she's in action. Then we have her amazing robes, with each set of gear which is just the cherry on top of each set. Robes are just the coolest, and Matsy has some of the most elegant and beautiful robes that just scream star. For most of her career, Matsuri has sported short hair, but occasionally, December 2021, December 2022, she has added extensions. Each style suits her superbly, although personally, I prefer the longer style more. For a while, she had blonde hair, but in recent times, it's been more darker, and even dark purple at once. Once again, she looks great in everything. She looks like a star. Factor 4. Strength and Speed. Matsu is shown on uh, social media her workout photos and training videos and you can definitely see the results. She is getting huge muscles and definition in her body and it was crazy that she wasn't a finalist in the sexy body contest of 2023. 
she has a dynamite body. It's clear that she wants to get stronger and bigger muscles so she can become a force to be reckoned with within Actress Girls. With the nickname Speedstar, you can guess she's pretty damn quick in the ring. She can run the ropes with speed rivaling that of Sonic the Hedgehog. This speed is a big part of her wrestling style and it plays into why opponents will target her legs, as I mentioned previously, to slow her down and stop her from using her speed to gain advantages and hit her trusty maneuvers. It can add a cool element to her matches. Her lightning quick speed is one of those things that I believe attracts attention to her as it is a great style to watch and helps her stand out in the ring from others where she can perform super athletic moves such as moonsaults, hurricanes, and head scissor takedowns. It's not to say that she can't delve into other styles like the aforementioned head scissor takedown which she usually alters into like a cross face submission. She can also show off her power usually during heated back and forth forearm exchanges where again passion can really shine through so brightly. So really she is a melting pot of all things amazing about wrestling but overall her speed style is definitely the biggest standout of all of these. Factor 5 In ring skills Now we come to in ring skills. I can list tons of matches where Misumatsu has delivered big time and put on an instant classic. I will list a couple of recommendations which I fully believe you should give a watch as it is worth the time. Firstly, title matches. She faced Miku Awono in 2023 for the Actress Girls Championship and Miku and Misa have always had amazing chemistry in the ring and Matsui's mission has been to surpass Miku and claim the top spot of the company. The title match showed off this story with Misa going above and beyond to overthrow Miku and take her spot. The passion and precision in this match is a fantastic and to me it's a clear instant classic. Now on to a match with Mari in February of 2024. To me this was more than just a match, it was an experience. Apology if that's standard corny, leave me be. The emotional roller coaster this took me on was amazing. Once again Misa's passion shined through and you could see how much this meant to her as she was fighting for herself and Asahi. So many great near falls, exchanges and moments took place in this match and Misa hit a missile dropkick off all four corners to signify each member of the Teppin faction in which was a beautiful moment. The final moments were fantastically done and they really captured lightning in a bottle with this match. Next, a non-title match. Her 7 minute encounter with Natsumi Sumikawa in 2022 at the first Kurokan Hall show of the new Actress Girls era. This is how you do a 7 minute match. No wasted motion, all action and what a performance from both competitors as both try to one up each other to become the winner of this big match. They stole the show and proved themselves on a big stage. Hopefully a rematch is not too far away. And just one more recommendation, from the 20th of December 2023, her match against Sakura Mizushima. A classic story of the veteran in Misumatsu against the rookie in Sakura Mizushima. This was a wrestling clinic. Misa went out of her way to give Sakura the shine and make her look like a million bucks in defeat. They went back and forth and it was a perfect amount of offense from Sakura to give you the thought that she definitely could win this while also keeping Matsuri strong. It went down to the wire with eventually Matsuri's experience barely gaining her the victory but Sakura lost nothing in defeat in this. A fantastic match also considering Sakura had under two years experience at that point. Incredible performance and an incredible match which is definitely worth checking out. Hopefully this video gives you an overview of what makes Misa Matsui such a fantastic and well-rounded performer who is greatness defined and destined to be even greater in the future. Hopefully a championship is in her near future. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, 
for watching.